In the previous video, we mentioned there are three methods to save the live video from the camera. We can either use the network video recorder with the hard drive, pay for the cloud storage, or use this micro SD card. Your guys are really interesting in the micro SD card. Here we are. First, you need to pick the correct version. Not all the micro SD card works. For example, this Sandix A1 it works, but A2 it doesn't work. I think there's compatibility issues with the particle that A2 implements. Anyway, we test the A1 up to 512 gigabytes, and it works well. Now let's install the car. First, we need to remove the power before we install the micro SD card to the camera. There's no need to format the micro SD card. The camera usually uses the private file system. Let's insert the card to the camera. and prepare the power to the camera. When the camera gets the power, the camera will format the micro SD card automatically. This is the live video from the camera. Remember we mentioned we don't need to take off the micro SD card to read the file from the camera. You can use the app to play back the footage. But before we do that, it's important to sync it the time, make sure the camera has the correct time, otherwise the file will be indexed into the wrong time slot. Now this is the footage it was recording to the camera just now. That's all. If you have multiple cameras in the system, you can install the micro SD card to each of these cameras. Meanwhile, you still can use the network video recorder to connect these cameras and save the video to the hard drive. Eventually, you got two recording systems running in your security camera system.